morning and get ready. It's going to rain today. Unfortunately, the real potential for flooding another two to four inches of rain is possible. We already have flood advisories that are being posted. Big flash flood watch for our area until seven o'clock tonight. Here is a look at the big picture and it's the same setup as yesterday. So what you had yesterday, well, that's going to be very similar to what we're going to have today. The frontal boundary is stalled to the north. Let me tell you, we've got a southerly flow. It is very humid outside. You only have to look at my hair to know that. Then you look to the north. We've got that upper level low. The air is splitting aloft. What does that mean? That means it's going to rise and with plenty of moisture in place, it's going to rain and storm. And in fact, that's what's happening right now. We have those storm icons all the way from Lake Charles to Baton Rouge. One inch hail has been reported. And do you see all of that lightning? That is some serious lightning that's occurring. No place outside is safe when there is lightning. I've drawn in a yellow line and what that's showing is something of a bow echo. That means the real potential that you're going to have some strong winds. So the light green is indicating where we've got the flash flood watch. The yellow is indicating where we have severe thunderstorm warnings for Ascension, Iberville, Livingston, St. John the Baptist. This severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 945. And then you've got a severe thunderstorm warning until 10 o'clock for Ascension, Assumption, and St. James. This is where we've got the real potential for large hail. Large hail has already been reported near Baton Rouge and where you also have the potential for those strong winds. So rain and some thunderstorms already moving into, you can see it right there. Franklinton, look, let me zoom in. There's a storm right now over Franklinton. It's heading towards Varnado. Then wait, this is the storm we're watching right there on top of Livingston. It is heading towards Hammond. 200 lightning strikes in the past 15 minutes. Then look at this storm that's over Gonzales. Almost 500 lightning strikes in 15 minutes. You are not safe outside in this kind of weather. And in fact, I wouldn't be taking a shower right now talking on one of those old fashioned land phones, which I still have in my house. And then you look to the southwest over there by Morgan City. You've got a strong storm. Then look at this in 3D. Let me tell you, that is some heavy rain. The potential for two to four inches of rain or more. Then we can look at it from 3D as well. We see storms developing by Galliano heading on up to New Orleans and that other area just marching to the east. So where these storms converge, that's where you can often get a little bit of a spin. We're looking at the Zurich Classic. Hey, you're okay right now, but wait, look at this just to your west. Yeah. Those are some big storms that are moving your way. Then we can go to the fairgrounds. Right now you're looking okay. Gosh, I hope that water has drained. My kids were out there yesterday. So here's the big picture. Here comes the rain marching our way. Let's go real quickly to our live radar. I just want to show you a few of these storms. So we're looking at one storm that is moving towards Ponchatoula right now. I'm going to do a storm track for you and just give you an idea from the leading edge. So you can see it's moving to the east at about 20. Ponchatoula It's going to be there at 10.08. Then we're going to scoot to the south a little bit. Here's the storm that's moving into Lake Maripal. Don't want to be both this morning is what I'm saying. These storms moving a little bit more to the northeast, not picking up, but obviously it's going to be heading right there towards reserve. It's over Gramercy right now. Then we can look to the south. This is where we're seeing some big storms as well, all marching to the northeast. This is a strong one I want to point out to you right now. Here it is. This one is heading towards uh, Dwight Fields, if you know where that is, for 954. So we've got a whole lot of weather, Jesse. We do, and we've been tracking the forecast model, and this honestly just changed. It was initializing very well in the last run, and now as, as we get this new forecast model, it's not initializing so well now because we're not seeing all that rainfall that we're seeing on the live radar. Now, as we push this forward, though, you can see that we do have that potential to see plenty of rainfall heading into this afternoon, but i got to be honest with you, 
the live radar is showing that it's going to be a lot quicker than this. This is 230 showing that the South Shore hasn't even received this rainfall yet. South Shore is going to get into the rainfall really in the next couple of hours heading into the noon hour. We're going to see that rainfall. So at the Zurich Classic, just like Margaret was showing you, it's fine now. But I'd say by the time we approach that noon hour, those storms are going to be approaching the uh, Avondale area. So as we head into tomorrow, we're actually going to have that front pushing through in the evening hours, say around 6 or 7 o'clock. But before then, we still have that potential to see some rainfall even heading into tomorrow. This forecast model, again, it's changed a little bit, but you saw that potential there for another line of storms to move through in the early afternoon hours. But as we head into late tomorrow and then on Tuesday, our weather will finally start to improve as that front pushes through and we'll get some sunshine back in here. So unfortunately for the Jazz Fest forecast today, it is going to rain. It is 100% that we're going to see that rainfall today over uh, on the South Shore and the North Shore. So we're going to keep that rain in the forecast, especially heading into the late morning and then into the afternoon hours. It's 70 or 80%. Honestly, for the most part, it's 100% for all of us today. We're all going to see that rainfall at some point. And uh, temperatures are going to be in the upper 70s and low 80s today. Uh, really, some of us may not even touch that 80 degree mark because of the cloud cover and the rainfall. So the forecast will keep that south wind 10 to 15. Storms are going to be likely. Some could be strong. We're seeing severe storms right now. It's moving into that Hammond area and will continue to march off to the east. So if you're in uh, Covington, even Mandeville, if those storms stay together, you'll be seeing that severe storm in the next 45 minutes or so. And lows tonight will be dropping down to the upper 60s and low 70s. So take a look now at the seven day forecast that unsettled weather stays in for tomorrow and then maybe even early on on Tuesday. But after that, things begin to improve. The front moves through. We'll have some lower temperatures coming in of mid to upper 70s. That sunshine returns by Wednesday and finally we'll have some lower humidity too. So it will feel a lot more comfortable. But until then, very unsettled weather today with flash flooding possible. And then tomorrow, another round of storms. It's going to be possible as well, about a 60 or 70 percent chance for tomorrow afternoon.